but for God. Today would have been a solemn day where we would have been conducting a memorial for Minister Dunsi and Yekong, remembering how he passed on on September 3rd, 2022. It is because of the mercies of God that we are not consumed and only the thoughtful will be grateful. This time last year, Minister Dunsi Onyekon was involved in a mortal accident that caught social media by storm. Many could not believe their eyes when they saw the video of the accident. Some other doubting Thomases said it must have been staged. It can be true. But for as many of us as have connected with the Spirit of God in the life of this man, we all knew without a doubt that it could only have been the finger of God. If God was not there to save him, we wouldn't be here today celebrating his life. And for this, the Libra Christian Life joins Minister Dunsi Onyekon to say thank you, Jesus. We are not writing in memory of Dunsi Onyekon, but today we are celebrating the victory that the Lord gave him. Thank you, Jesus. I want to ask you, how grateful are you for the things that God did in the past? For a true Christian, nothing that God does should ever be put in the past. Whether he did it 10 years ago, 20 years ago, or 100 years ago, as long as you are alive and still breathing, you still should keep a memorial of everything the Lord has done. This was one of the things the Lord was not happy about when it came to the children of Israel. They were always quick to forget the good things that the Lord has done for them. Remember when he took them out of Egypt, the land of oppression, he told the Israelites back then to set up memorials so that their children and children's children would be told or would be reminded of what the Lord had done for them at Egypt. Today, in line with this, Minister Dusi Oyekom put out an appreciation post to the Lord God for how he kept him this time last year. He said, 3rd of September 2022, the day the enemy wanted to bury me, but mercy said, no, Lord, I'm here to give you praise for preserving my life and the lives of the people who were with me. Ha! 3rd of September 2023, the day we bury the devil. Friends, please help me give thanks to God on my behalf today. Wow, what a grateful soul. Today, I want to put out a challenge. I want you to sit back and take a journey down memory lane to remember some of the things that the Lord has done for you in the past and follow in the footsteps of Minister Dunsi Oyekom to say thank you to the Lord for what he did. And trust me, for the thankful, they receive more. The Lord will do more for you in Jesus' name. As we are rejoicing over Minister Dunsi Oyekon's victory, we would also rejoice over your own victory, over the devil and his cohorts in Jesus' name. This is Deliberate Christian Life, and we are so happy you stopped by to watch this video. We encourage you to please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you also tell friends and family about us. We share edifying content. Till we see you again in the next video, stay winning with Jesus.